12.30 a.m. on uh, January the 2nd. Christmas has been good. I think the guys have done a really good job sort of keeping up the volume over the break. We're at Heathrow Terminal 5 and we're uh, about to fly to Lisbon for our training camp in Aviz. If they're not ready to go right now, they'll be ready to go once they've had a couple of coffees. Yeah, no, it's, it's an early start today, but yeah, the guys are looking forward to it. It'll, uh, it's a really important part of the, the year. You know, a couple of weeks of really good training in before they get back to the uh, back to the books as well. What time do you have to get up this morning? Uh, I think I got up at like 2, 2 a.m. Uh, good to be back with the lads here. Um, looking forward to uh, tough camp. It changes scenery, I think. Uh, it helps a lot. I mean, you know, Ely, when you're training, twice a day, every day, can, can get monotonous. So you're <clears throat> sort of doing that camp at the Tideway? At uh, the Tideway? Yeah. Oh, man. This is also a Christmas present, so you're using it. Oh, OK. Making your family happy. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Andrew. Yeah. <laughs> James got killed this morning. It's just a game that someone else has played before, and so we each have yeah a specific object to hand to somebody in a specific place, and then you pick up their cards. Making the most of nice conditions. Yeah, here it's raining. <laughs> Where are they? In Italy, Cambridge and Italy. It's raining there, so jokes really on them. Beautiful day! <laughs> we had a really productive camp uh, when we were in Italy and it was just a really great time for us to not only improve our rowing but also just really bond as a squad. It's just a really productive time I think on all fronts for us. A member of the staff has a yeah. Yeah. We've spent a week now on the Tideway doing our training camp, getting a lot of guys who maybe aren't too experienced on the Tideway used to it, knowing the course, knowing where we're going to be racing in a few months. Strokes on about a 32, 33, and then we'll wind down and easy after that. We're looking through this week to, yes, get the miles in, make sure that we cover the right things on training camp, but ultimately that's starting a process which then builds us back into this new term. Start a process which will lead from here all the way up until the boat race. There's like constant pressure because obviously telemetry is always on, always with pieces, always aware of it, but they'll be definitely looking at every single problem. Yeah, I've got We're going to Cavisham at the weekend for speed test week. Cool. Selection is a, is a huge part of the season. It's on everyone's minds from day one. And the further and further into the year, uh, yeah, the, the more pressure is, is vying on each performance. You know, whether it's in on the land, whether it's on the ergos, whether it's on the water. Whether it's in those racing pieces or whether it's in the sort of the, the dark mornings that we have in the in the rain through the winter. We look at ergo tests, we're looking at seat racing where we're swapping people between two boats to see who makes one boat go faster or potentially slower. Making sure that everybody earns their place and proves that. You, know, you want that clarity of performance, um, not just for the other people on the team, but for that person as well to know that he's earned his place. Every single session you're out there, you know that eventually you're going to have to race you know your best mates for a seat in the boat that you want to be in um, and you're always kind of under scrutiny of course things are going to get really tense this was whatever i choose to do you just going to be the best you know you got to run on the expectation that you could be one of the people just reset the watch it's okay i've got mine oh it's the shittest part of this job you want like, you know, you spend a lot of time with these young people, but it is sport and there is that element, always that element to it, but you, you know, you invest yourself in them, so you want the best for them. Saying someone's journey's ended or that they're maybe not going to get the boat that they wanted to or something is, um, it's horrific. So it's losing.
And we talk a lot about being comfortable by being uncomfortable. People generally will up their game if they know they need to. Part of our selection is um, done on uh, the ergs. It's a good test of physiology. It's a fair test of physiology. But alongside the physical test, it's a really big psychological challenge. It's the ability to kind of be in that pain cave and sit through it. So 3820 is probably up there in terms of testing. Uh, it's going to be a hard one. Yeah, it's going to hurt. It'll be tough. Um, you just get through it. You just got to pull as hard as you can. It's very much a kind of individual pain contest. It's just basic numbers popping up on, on the screen in front of you of how hard you can push and pull. 5.30 on the dot. Let's do it. Set the clocks, please. Attention. Go. Yeah, let's do it, Oxford. It's just you and the machine. There's no hiding place from it. I knew coming into this program it was going to be tough, but I had no idea how tough it was going to be. Rest your feet. Because the barista is such a short campaign, everything counts. Tensions are high, um, selection is upcoming and will be set relatively soon. Can't switch off, it's always always at the back of our minds. Every time we sit on, you know, you've got to be able to manage yourself, um, be mature enough to handle the pressure. Great job, Mary. Another good step up. We feel that the demands of the programme and what we go through makes a boat race winner. It's not easy and that's kind of the point. Even when you're not on the water, it is just in your head the whole time. You know, this is not a learn to row programme. This is not park run. This is not finishers, t-shirts and medals from the London Marathon for running five hours. This is about an elite performance to win the boat race. I think what sometimes is lost from the boat race narrative is that we're also just normal human beings. Sometimes the kettle boils over. You were meant to be together. Think you're making the perfect pair. When you're, you're working to, to really extend yourself, you're going to be moving a little bit into the unknown, and, and that can take away a little bit of sense of stability. It's not like you'd even care. It's never all sunshine and roses. This is a high performance sport. We've got high performing people. They're going to blow their top now and again. They're going to get frustrated. Right back to you. Clearly not hit quite where we wanted to be. We were making, are we getting on target? Absolutely no idea how to follow Saxon. Like it's, I don't know whether I'm behind him at what point or whether I'm supposed to be ahead of him or what. Anything could throw it off. One do you feel the hurt and pain? Uh, you, you'd be a bit more worried in a lot of ways if that's not happening. It's like, well, are we really pushing hard enough? We're so desperate to get faster that we can be frustrated with the progress that it's not enough or the boat's not going as well as we want it to be going. No, I don't think we're approaching the, the zone two paddling with, with the right, the right mentality. It's not, it's not the lack of trying. There's no trust. most definitely not plain sailing and um, preparing a crew for the boat race and I think our year that we're experiencing is one of those. I mean this year we've seen a biblical amount of rain. It does look like the weather's too bad for us to go to Cavish until the weekend so I expect we're going to be here. We definitely feel at times that uh, the, the, the gods aren't on our side. In January the heavens opened and so began months of land training and not being able to get on the water. In the back of our minds, Cambridge weren't facing the challenges we were. Cambridge train in Ely, which doesn't flood. And when you only have seven months, every session you miss is an opportunity that you don't have to make a change on what happened last year. Wellington is fully flooded. I hear there are boats under the water in the boathouse. So it's um, not really rowable right now. So we're on land, um, I'm biked on the ergs a bit more. Um, which is just another kind of obstacle. It's something which we can't control. It's something which is, as ever, is frustrating. We can't get out in the water as much. We have to find ways to 
to, to move forward. You know when you do a deadlift and you know you get it wrong because it's, you go onto your toes? We're doing a great job, but we have to find that balance of patience versus max effort. You've got to find what's right for you. Like, you're quite strong. Strong, you know, Iris is stronger, but you know. <laughs> Megan's even stronger. Okay, let's do this. Anything can happen, injuries, illness, all the other things, but um, they're the nine people that have stood out. Fairly rigorous selection policy. We have a young crew, two returning blues, and then we've got um, Megan Lee in the stroke seat, uh, who was the US under 23 gold medalist last year. Deadlift analogy. How's that coming along? You like it? New people come to the team and they just throw the body around. It's like, yeah, look at my momentum. Yeah, it's not always useful. The handle leads, not the slide. It's the great thing about the water here or the, the, the river. Uh, we have a sluice dock at this end, a, a sluice gate that pumps all the water out. So we haven't missed a session. Ely can be a bit bleak, but it's just such a good place to train. The water's a bit high, but it's still absolutely fantastic conditions. Honestly, it's great that we can go out there knowing that Oxford can't. It's a really big sort of motivator for us. And to be able to do, you know, 30, 36K today, knowing that Oxford haven't done a single K out in the water, like that's just, that's just fantastic. We may have got rained off for weeks and Cambridge may have been able to not miss a day on home water, but it doesn't matter. The rain has stopped and we're coming for them. Made so much progress, lots going on. Uh, fixtures are up next, so what could go wrong? <laughs> Hard to know what's going on in there. Alright, we'll call it off.